Day one, Greenwood Furnace to Bald Eagle. Bill, Steve, and I decided to make our last small Pennsylvania bicycle tour from our home to Greenwood Furnace State Park and then to Bald Eagle State Park before returning to our homes. For me, this trip would only be about 126 miles in length. I decided to leave a day earlier than Bill and Steve, riding from my house to Alexandria, Pennsylvania, meeting them on the Lauer Trail the next day. This is a leg of 23 and a half miles for me. As you can see, I have a major climb starting at mile seven, then a long, easy downhill all the way to mile 20, then a small climb followed by a short downhill to my first night's shelter on the Lauer Trail. This is that first major climb where I'm going to go under I-99 and climb to the top. Then it's that long, nice downhill all the way to mile 20. I love these quiet country roads, and here we're going under I-99, which is always busy. We are headed on that long, slow downhill into Warriors Mark, Pennsylvania, and you will see that Politics is still alive and well in the country. Um, people posting their signs. Warriors Mark is just uh, a sleepy little town like a lot of little towns in this part of Pennsylvania. Really a crossroads with a gas station. And that's about it. see many bicyclists out touring and it's a shame because these quiet country roads in Pennsylvania are just perfect with towns close enough that you can always get supplies and campgrounds and state parks close enough that you always have a place to stay. riding along for several miles down an old country road without seeing another vehicle. What a wonderful day. This is a little uh, busier highway that I'm on, uh, coming into Spruce Creek, Pennsylvania. Uh, I wanted to get resupplied with water in Spruce Creek, but as you will see, all the businesses in Spruce Creek were closed down. It was uh, 
Monday, but it was also Indigenous Peoples Day, and uh, I suppose because of the holiday, the stores were closed. Right after Spruce Creek, this might slow down at least the big traffic. I had to go through an underpass with eight foot, two inches clearance. Then up a little hill, this is that uh, start of that uh, minor climb at the end of my ride. And in a moment, here we go, downhill, down towards the Lauer Trail. As you will see, I get to pick up enough momentum that the cars near the end of this downhill aren't going a lot faster than I am. Just beautiful, just coasting. I do have to make a left-hand turn down here onto another major highway for about 30 yards until I make the uh, cut and the turn onto the Lauer Bicycle Trail. I guess it's a rails to trail. Across a rumble strip, into the turn lane. And I always hate it when the light changes and cars back up behind me and I'm the bicycle at the beginning of this little line of traffic. But here we are. And this is the end of that little hour trail. And in just a second, you will see the shelter that I am going to stay in for the evening, waiting for Bill and Steve. Here we are. And here's my tent set up in the lean-to shelter. <laughs> 